can't believe what nature can create. What you see behind me is shaped by wind and water erosion over the course of millions of years. It almost feels like I am in a living museum where the lines between the planet and the cosmos seem to blur. Welcome to Walula in Saudi, also known as Mars on Earth. In the heart of Arabia, a land so divine, lies a lula where ancient tales intertwine. A realm of wonder where sands and skies meet, a timeless oasis where history's heart beat. Located in the northwest of Saudi Arabia, Alula may be a new and an emerging tourist destination in KSA, but it holds 200,000 years of largely unexplored human history. Preserved tombs, sandstone outcrops, historic dwellings and monuments. Alula is one of the world's first civilization and one of the oldest cities in the Arabian Peninsula. The world's masterpiece is unveiling its secrets and is ready to share with you. There are many direct and non-stop three-hour flights from Dubai to get to Alula. Though I decided to get behind the wheels and take a journey through the desert terrain. Offering a glimpse of the vast expanse and natural beauty of the Arabian Peninsula. It was only in 2018 that Saudi lifted a long ban on women driving. Cut to 2023, a woman tourist like me is motoring through the changing colours of the sand along the mesmerizing backdrop of Medina to Alula, covering a distance of approximately 380 to 400 kilometers. I've got my international driving license planned this way in advance because self-drive in Saudi is a must. The drive typically takes around 5 to 6 hours, but the roads are well paved, making for a comfortable drive. Keep in mind that Saudi Arabia has specific traffic regulations, so be sure to adhere to local laws and drive safely. Twisting and turning between dunes and mountains, you are suddenly surrounded by huge rock formations making you feel like you've entered a different planet altogether. And that's when you realize you have arrived. Spread across 10,000 square meters of Alula's Asher Valley, a broad swath of pale desert surrounded by otherworldly rock pinnacles, is the resort the Banyan Tree Alula. The resort seamlessly blends into the natural landscapes offering restaurants, spa, luxurious villas, tents and suites. to my room in Alula. The villa features a king-sized bed, a bathroom patio and is elegantly arranged with authentic handcrafted antiques inspired by Alula's heritage. Each villa here has an external fire pit as well as private swimming pool. And if that's not enough, head over to the rock pool of Banyan Tree Alula. I bet you wouldn't have seen anything similar ever before. Just few kilometers away from the resort, I was drawn towards a building that holds the distinction of being the world's largest mirror structure, the Mariah Concert Hall. These panels not only create an eye-catching visual effect, but also allow the building to seemingly disappear into the desert when viewed from certain angles. This is Mariah, the largest mirror building in the world, built in the year 2018. This mirror building has a concert hall where some of the biggest celebrities have come and have had a performance here. The mirror walls here blend in beautifully with its surroundings, saying that the beauty you see in me is the reflection of you. of 
Alula's Desert Canyon is the old town where older civilizations once thrived. Hegra is designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 2008. It is the first site in Saudi Arabia to receive this prestigious designation. Well, coming to Hegra is like taking a journey back in time to explore the archaeological and cultural legacy of the Nabatian civilization. Hegra is also called the Other Petra. Hegra was established by the Nabataeans, a prominent ancient Arab civilization known for their mastery of trade and architecture. Well, to be specific, in, in Hegra, it's mm. a lot of the information that we have is actually carved into the rock on, on the tombs. So oh. we know exactly what year, we know which person, we know their um, profession. Right. We know uh, which king was in, uh, reigning, or queen even, uh, during that time. And we know a lot of them, were, uh, a lot of the tombs were actually owned by women. Actually, one of the locations over there, the translation is the Mountain of the Girls, or the Palace, uh, Jebel al Banat. Yeah. So a lot of the tombs there are owned by women. It's interesting to yeah. see that women were in power back then. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> they, they still are very much in power. <laughs> okay, so uh, welcome to Islib Mountain or the secret mountain. So we are in the best and the beautiful site in Hegra. It's yeah. called Islib Mountain. So uh, inside Itlib mountain, we have many places for many different actually meanings. So the first one, we have it, the beautiful room that you see it here, in front of here, which is called Ad Diwan. Right. It's a beautiful, huge room actually. They used to gathering inside this room to talking about everything happened in their city. They sit down, they eat, they talking about everything. The other thing that we have it also here, it's the small bath that you see it here. We have the same also bath at Petra because we have the same civilization, so we have different, we, didn't, we have similar actually places. The bath we call it a seek, it's a natural bath between two mountains. The other thing that we have it also here, it's the niches. The niches, it's the place that they pray to the God, worship the God. And when you walk, you're gonna see many niches and different inscriptions. So that's mean when we translate the inscription, we found that this place it's for everyone, not only for specific people, for example, the religion area, the religion place is for everyone, not only for specific people, even in their time, in our time. So as for research, how, how, uh, how many years ago did people actually live here? What was the, how old is the civilization here in yes. Hegra? So the age of the civilization, it's almost 2,200 years ago. But they settled here in Hegra almost for 200 years. So it was like economic city for them, but the capital it was at Betra. Though not all rock formations have a specific historical narrative, few have been shaped over millions of years by geological processes such as erosion, weathering and sedimentation, much like Jabal al Fil or the Elephant Rock. Soaring 52 meters into the sky, this is the Elephant Rock, Alula's most iconic geological marvel. You can instantly recognize that it resembles an elephant with its distinctive trunk and body. Right opposite to it, millions of years of erosion have formed an opening in one of Alula's signature sandstone outcrops. The effect is a jar sculpted by nature, though some say it resembles a bottle or bowling pin. However, one of Alula's most recognizable rock formations is the Ark, also known as Rainbow Rock. 90-minute drive from the center of the city, its bridge-shaped structure resembles a rainbow flanked by two clouds. It is truly a rare sight indeed. What I'm seeing around me is a symbol of Earth's beauty and the intricate relationship between humans and the environment. 
Rainbow Rock's striking appearance, especially during sunset and sunrise, is a perfect place to contemplate, meditate or find solace. And also, click a picture or two for Instagram. Not just history, Alula also has adventure to offer. Situated amidst the breathtaking landscapes of Alula, the Adventure Hub is a place of excitement for all levels of thrill seekers. And the first thing on my list is the Giant Swing Adventure Hub. This adventure requires you to be harnessed as you climb through the vertical rock formations of Alula. Is that what I'm supposed to do? So it took me about uh, 30 minutes to climb up this rock which is about 60 meters high above the ground. There's no going back. I will swing my way to the ground. Let's see how that goes. Okay, I'm going to take one of the bravest adventures jumping off the mountain cliff, swinging through the canyon walls, 85 meters above the ground. I am at Adventure Hub in Alula and this is the giant swing and I don't know why I'm doing this but let's do it anyway. <laughs> oh my god. Three, two, one, launch! And just when I was wondering if this was a wise decision, well, the gorgeous views assured me that it sure was. And if that's not enough, the Alula Stairway is another iconic attraction offering a unique perspective as you climb up the staircase carved into the rocks. End this route by taking a 150-meter zip line into the canyon. This has been fun. To get a bird's eye view of the entire Alula, just book yourself a helicopter ride to witness the stunning beauty. From Nabatean tombs to rock carved wonders like Elephant Rock, Rainbow Rock, Old Town, and much more, the tour provides an up close look at these natural wonders and showcases their intricate details along with a glimpse into the olden life. The tour got me intrigued about the olden civilization and I made my way to Dadan and Ikma. Dadan was once the capital of Dadanite and Leonite kingdoms and served as a major centre for trade and commerce. From afar, you may simply just see dark rectangles cut into red rock cliffs, but these are actually square-shaped tombs which are about 50 metres above the ground level. I then decided to visit Madrasat Adira, an all-women's school where women are creating art focused on sustainability and also amplifying the rich heritage of Saudi. The school has been in place for the past 60 years now, where women are dedicated to creating art inspired from Alula's heritage. The core mission is to teach local women a range of traditional handicrafts and uplift them. My name is Nopat Fazmi. I'm a workshop manager. I'm working here at Madrasa Tidira with Turquoise Mountain. Uh, it's a creative school. Uh, there is many classes, like we have many workshops, like ceramic, jewelry, candle and soap, uh, textile. We produce and training many craftswomen or artisans. I will wait for the afternoon sun to simmer down a bit and then take a stroll around the old town. The old town instantly transports you back in time, walking through the streets of Old Alula. There are shops around selling the most beautiful souvenirs which summarized my stay in Alula. 
and the streets here are lined up with restaurants serving authentic Saudi food. I headed to Suhail restaurant. Well, restaurant Suhail sits in the heart of the old town in a restored mud brick building where you can enjoy Alula's hospitality. I'm enjoying a traditional Saudi meal from Zarish soup to lamb sambosa to chicken kebsa. Everything here is so delicious. And with that, my journey back in time in Alula comes to an end. But I have to say, this Arabian fairy tale has been so beautiful that I don't want to come back to reality. Alula's allure has surely pleased me. Mariah's mirror reflects the land's grace, a modern marvel in an ancient space. From the dance stones to Hegra's grand halls, Alula's allure like a desert's call. Nabatean echoes and history arise. In Alula's embrace, the past never dies.